Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to create a new game that is tossing a coin. So if you want to toss a coin, you don't have a coin with you, you can just play this game and toss a coin for you. So before uh, watching this video, let me tell you that in this two concepts are going to be used that is variable and if condition. So if you have not seen my earlier videos, just go through those videos and then watch this to understand it completely. So you can see here, let me show you, I'll run the app. When I, you can see the tossing hand, when I click on the hand, the coin get tossed and it is showing me head and a reset button comes here, a power button. When I cl click on this power button, again, the tossing hand comes and again, I toss. Now see a tail is coming again. I can click on this power button and again. So this is how I can toss a coin. You can see the code blocks over here. I'll explain you and I will simultaneously create it for you. So here you can see I have created a tossing hand. So make new sprite and I have set its size. So we can do it here. Code dot all sprite lab. Now see, I can't see any tossing hand over here. Even I'll go in more. So I can't see anything like this. So what I need to do is I need to import that screen from Google Chrome. So I can search it on Google. I have also taught this thing in my previous video. So if you want to see that, you can watch the previous videos. You can see my complete playlist of coding. But if you already have an image in your PC, how will you get it? Today, I'm going to tell that. So I have this tossing hand. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to click and drag. I'll open my files. I'll click and drag this image over here and I will snap it here. You can see it again. I'll just click on T coin. Yes. Just need to get into this video. So now I have the option of import. I'll click on import. I'll click on OK. And I have got the image. So this is how you can add any image as sprite, whatever image is saved in your computer. You can add your images to create animations. Okay, so again, I'll go to quotes and I can choose the tossing hand here. I can set its size by going in actions, set size, tossing coin. Now I'm changing it to 200. So now I have this. Similarly, you can uh, add heads and tails. Okay, so now this is done. Now what I want that when I click on this hand, it should show randomly sometimes head or tail right so what i need to do here is i need an event that of click event so when i need a click event when i click on the hand what happens it should choose something randomly right so that means something is going to change it's a variable it can be heads or a tail so i need to create a variable and i need set i block Set I, I'll go in variables and I'll name it number. Now see, I've created a variable number. Why have created a variable number? Because I'm going to take two numbers, one, two. If one comes, then it should show me head. If two comes, it should show me tail. So I'm going in variables math, random integer one, two, two. So this is how it's going to so if you want to see the number, you can add set x show title and you can add here number. It will show you number, whatever it chooses. Okay. Yes. So now you can see it. Now what I need to tell him that when one comes, then change this hand to heads. So it's a condition that if number is one so i'll go in logic i'll bring if conditional if number is equals to one so if the number is one what should happen change costume i'll go in sprites change costume the tossing hand to the head now again you will say the head is not there i have already downloaded it I can get it from here. It's a head. Okay. First, I need to click on draw. Yes. Now I'm here. Now I can click it over here. 
I'll just move this here. I have head. I'll just drag and drop it here. I'll click on import. I'll click on OK. And it's done. I can crop it and code. So now I can check it and I ha I can add head in this. So let's click on run and click. Now see one is there. Now see once it is done, I I can't come back. I want to toss it again. I'll again need to start, restart my whole game. I don't want that. So what I can do is I can create a power button here. When I click on power button, it will reset again. Okay. So that is why I edit sprite, make new sprite. When you click on the hand, then it will make a sprite for you. That is the power button. You can add power button. You can see if it is in more. Let's see. Is there any button? No. So there is no power button. Uh, I have this button. I can use this. Yes. So I'm taking this. It will make it here. Okay. I'm using lollipop icon to reset it. So when I click on run, I can see the power button over here. I can see the numbers also. Now I need to complete it. So now reset and run. When I click on it, it's one. Now again, I need to click on this power button and it should show me tail, right? Uh, it should sh again show me the tossing hand, sorry. Okay. So I complete it first. If number is equals to two, change costume to A. So I have number, I'll go in max. If number is equals to two, I'll go in sprites. Change costume, the tossing hand to tail. So now again, I need to check whether I have downloaded it or not. So I'll go in here and I have this tail. Okay, so I am getting it here in port and I have it ok, I am rex, I have crop and I have code. I can choose here the option of tail. Let's see. Reset and run. Oh, run. And I got two and I got the tail. Now see, this button is not working. I need to give event to this button. So when this power button this play button is clicked again the tossing hand should come so again the sprite should change okay now see let's what happened we'll go in events so when the play button is clicked if it is showing head so it will change head to tossing hand and if it is showing me tail then it will change tail to tossing hand, right? So this is what I have. Let's see. Reset, run. It shows me two. It gives me tail. I click here. It shows me tossing hand. But see, the number is still here. So what I need to do is I need to remove this number also. So what I can do here is it's just a small trick. I can't erase it. So what I will do, I'll just command it to leave the title empty. That will erase this. Let's see how, hap how this happens. So I'll click here. See, I got one. I got head. I'll click on play. Again, I got the tossing hand. I'll click here two and this. So this is how you can create an app to toss a coin. For any queries, you can go through the video and... Look through all the videos of this playlist. Thank you.